Hey, so we wanted to talk to you today about some downed trees and storm damage. So this time of the year, uh, we've had some storms roll in the last two Sundays, uh, nights, and everybody gets a little bit concerned uh, about storm damage. And so we wanted to go over a couple things to keep in mind about storm damage. Uh, first of all, be safe. Uh, most important of all, be safe. Uh, but when you get out and after a storm, uh, survey the area, survey the situation, watch out for down power lines. Uh, during storms we do get power lines that are pulled down um, and uh, you definitely don't want to get into those power lines uh, in those situations but if you do have some down trees uh, here's a couple of things to keep in mind number one um, just because a guy has a pickup truck and a lawnmower I mean a, a chainsaw doesn't mean he's a tree specialist um, so just be careful that the guys that are running around uh, and they're doing a lot of work for you um, They're out this time of the year during the storms and they want to make an extra buck uh, But they can also be uh, cost you a lot of issues and problems down the road uh, So number one make sure they're a reputable company uh, Make sure you've seen their name around or they've been referred to you maybe by a friend or a family member uh, before the storm Number two, make sure they're carrying insurance and general liability and workman's comp. Um, anybody can tell you that they have insurance, but hey, if they've got a big project on your property, go ahead and make sure that you find that information out. Number three, don't pay a contractor anything until the work is done or at least until they're on site and they're doing work. Uh, a lot of contractors during storms like to take advantage of people and so what they'll do is they'll come in and say oh well we've got 20 jobs down the road and, and we're going to be working on those if you'll give us a deposit or you'll give us money then we'll come back and get yours um, some of those guys legitimately will do that but a lot of those guys will take your money and, be, and run and they you won't ever see them again the other is be careful where the contractor's from. Find out if they're local or they're from out of town, those kind of things. If they're out of town, make sure that you have good data and good information on that company because just because a company comes in from out of town doesn't mean they're always a legitimate company. And you can kind of get yourself into a jam when it comes to those situations from that standpoint and then once you get all the storm damage cleaned up and the debris is removed uh, then you can start putting things back together uh, as far as the irrigation or the landscaping or the sodding or regrading yards and those kind of things but just wanted to kind of go over just a, a couple simple tips to keep in mind when you're uh, during the storm uh, during the middle of something and somebody shows up and it's got to get done uh, just be careful be very cautious um, about those type of situations because you can be taken advantage of very easily very quickly um, by companies or by people individuals um, that just aren't up to the up to par so again keep in mind the, the name of the company where they're from uh, keep in mind their insurance and general liability and their workman's comp uh, and just make sure that that company has a reference that you know um, don't pay anything up front um, and some of these simple tips or simple ideas will keep you um, and keep you in better shape and safer uh, during the storm season so but if we can help you in any way here at real turf solutions after the damage is done or if you need to check reference on someone give us a call we'll be more than happy to help you any way that we possibly can thanks and have a great one stay safe